What's up guys, it's Salvaje. We're back with another Destiny 2 video and I'm finally bringing you guys my video on my all-around kinetic weapons for PvE, okay? These are basically kinetic weapons that I use on all PvE activities because of course they are very exceptional and they are great and they're pretty much the best weapons in the game right now, honestly, when it comes down to PvE activities. So with that said, let's get right into it. I'm pretty sure you guys know which weapon I am about to talk about first. But anyways, before, I just want to let you guys know, before I start the video, um, listen guys, I'm going to be reviewing all of these weapons throughout the month of October. So if you guys want more in-depth reason with actual gameplay of these weapons, then feel free, of course, subscribe to the Sarvahe Cartel. I just want to make a pretty quick video, you know, to tell you guys what are some weapons that you guys should be rocking. So with that said, let's get right into it. My number one choice, my all-around choice for PvE, alright, is the Nameless midnight this thing is a monster there is only one reason why this thing is the pve god at the moment and it is because this weapon has perfect stats great rate of fire great magazine godlike uh reload speed good handling good stability good range and of course it has great impact i really really like this scout rifle it's amazing it sounds great and on top of all that an added bonus that makes this sky scout rifle so good it's the explosive rounds or the of course the explosive payload this thing guys is amazing and it melts enemies at any range which is why this is my favorite weapon for pve and why you guys should get one of these how do you get the nameless midnight you can get it by the end of completing a strike a nightfall strike you guys can also get the nameless midnight from as the vala package and i have also gotten the nameless midnight from a legendary engram but your chances of getting the nameless midnight and a legendary engram are actually really 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 rare anyways uh it has 30 rounds for of course better stability but again the stability on this weapon is great so you might as well go with flare magwell for the amazing reload speed and with that said that is my first choice for pve weapons when it comes down to the kinetic weapon slot my second choice is my favorite hand cannon in the entire game, the Better Devils. You can get this by completing a Crucible match, by winning in a Crucible match, and of course from a Shax package. This thing is a beast. It's amazing, and it actually reminds me of the Fatebringer. The only reason why I fell in love with this hand cannon in the beta is because, of course, it did have explosive rounds, and it felt like a year one hand cannon from Destiny 1. This thing has great impact, great range, great stability, great handling speed. The only thing that this weapon doesn't have going for it is a great reload speed, which, of course, you can make up for with Flare Macwell. Now, of course, if you want 13 bullets in the magazine, you are going to have to sacrifice a lot of that reload speed, and honestly, I don't really recommend it. I do recommend that you go with Flare Macwell. Anyways, one of the reasons why, of course, this weapon is a beast in PvE, it's because, of course, it's, you know, nearly perfect stats and the explosive rounds perk or the explosive payload perk, whatever you want to call it, okay? The reason why explosive payload, guys, it's so good in PvE, it's because it's basically an extra source of damage that doesn't really have any damage fall off unlike unlike of course the actual shot of the weapon itself okay that's what explosive payload is so good also explosive payload go through scion shields in the raid i don't know if that's a glitch i don't know if that's intended but yeah you know it, 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 it's just an extra bonus that you guys you know might want to know about the better devils on top of all that the impact on this thing and the rate of fire just makes this hand cannon amazing but of course if you guys want gameplay of this thing and you know my actual in-depth thoughts on the better devils feel free to check out my better devils review coming of course later this month another hand cannon of choice for pve is the dire promise you can actually get this from a dead orbit package as well as of course kate's treasure maps the triple tap perk is very very good in pve specifically if you're fighting things like a walker or a wretch captain uh basically bosses with a really really great and big hitbox the reason why i like the dire promise is because it fires faster than the better devils and on top of all that it has a really good reload speed really good handling and of course it has pretty amazing impact for a 150 rounds per minute hand cannon on top of all that it has 13 bullets in the magazine and it still has a pretty pretty awesome reload speed and of course if you want to have better stability on the hand cannon you can do that as well the dire promise is a really good pve hand cannon and if you're not using it you're kind of sleeping on it my next weapon of choice in pve is not the lincoln green i actually don't like this uh pulse rifle but it is the ghost primus now this is basically just a cliche choice i guess you could say I don't know, I just like the Ghost Primus because I like how it looks, I like how it sounds, and I like that if you get a double kill and you have Ambitious Assassin on, your magazine goes from like 44 bullets to like 55 bullets or something like that. Overall, this is a pretty good auto rifle on the Kinetic Weapon slot, probably the best one that we have right now in the Kinetic Weapon slot, and that's why I recommend the Ghost Primus, uh, you know, as a good all-around PvE 
uh, weapon. You guys can get this from a uh, raid package, and you guys can also get this from, of course, completing an encounter in the raid. And guys, that is... Uh, I mean, yeah, those are my all-around weapons in the kinetic weapon slot when it comes down to Destiny 2 PvE. If you guys want to hear more thoughts about these weapons, feel free to subscribe to the channel for my review on these weapons that are going to be coming in, of course, in the month of October. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and of course, subscribe for more videos like this. Peace out.